Um, all right. Clay Thompson was talking to Anthony Slater of the Athletic Man, and uh, Anthony Slater reminded him of that little gimmick or that little event that happened when the Cleveland Cavaliers, when they were the reigning champions, uh, had the Halloween party where they had the cookies that looked like um, uh, Stephen Curry and Clay Thompson. They was on tombstones or whatnot. He was, he brought that to Clay's attention. And I'm kind of paraphrasing, man. It's not the exact quote, but he basically said something like, "Oh yeah, ha, I, I remember that." Um, he said something like, uh, "Oh yeah, I forgot all about that." You know, that was crazy. And I think he said something like, uh, is bums." And then he said, like, I had totally forgot all about that. And he said, that's what pettiness gets you. One and eight in the finals. Idiots. Now, I'm pretty sure he's talking about not only LeBron James, but J.R. Smith and everybody that basically he's talking about the whole Cleveland Cavaliers team. And, um... My, my my feeling about this is, okay, I guess you have bragging rights because you guys throttled the, the Cavaliers' last two you know, NBA Finals. But it also coincides with you guys signing Kevin Durant, which would be like the Chicago Bulls already having the team they have and then signing Shaq. It's like overkill. And then the second time, you know, 2018, LeBron didn't even have Kyrie. So, in essence, LeBron only had Kevin Love, who, in my opinion, is not really a superstar. You know, he was a system player in, in Minnesota, putting up big numbers, but he's not a superstar. You know what I'm saying? And then you guys, you have Kevin Durant, you have uh, Stephen Curry, you have Klay Thompson, you have Draymond Green. Come on, man. Do you have... Guys who were former All Stars or damn near it, and uh, in the, when they were in their primes, and Andre Iguodala and you know uh, Sean Livingston, you know what I'm saying? Like, come on now. And you guys now have Demarcus Cousins. Come on, like the fact that I tell you one thing: if you were to switch Clay Thompson and put him on those Cleveland Cavaliers teams, and then put LeBron with the Ross they have already and put LeBron James on Golden State, it would be 0-8. And, and it will be historically bad blowouts, like dream team shit. Final score, Golden State, 158. Cleveland, 84. You know what I mean? You don't have all those shooters spacing the floor like that. Like, we hit 11 three-pointers in the game and 14 three-pointers in the game and 10 three-pointers in the game and you know, all this type of shit. But anyway, I look at Clay Thompson's numbers. He shot the ball very well, but he only averaged 16 points a game in the, in the, the nine finals games that you're talking about. Meanwhile, in one of the finals, I think LeBron James had a triple double. Um, I think it might have been both. I can't remember, but I definitely know in, in uh, I think two thousand what seventeen he averaged a triple double in the entire Bay Finals. Last year, you know, what I'm saying basically playing by himself, I think he averaged a triple double. I'm not sure. Fifty one points in the first game. Shit, you couldn't even dream of doing, Clay Thompson. Yeah, you've had 50-point games, but it's a difference. You get your points through other teammates feeding you the ball. LeBron can create on his own and score 50 points. Now, is he the most polished scorer of all time? No, but he's able to create his own shot. You can't do that. All right? You're a system scorer. So you're not on his level. So if you call this man a bum, 
the fuck out of here, man. You're not fucking um, Larry Bird, dude. Get the fuck out of here. 